early morning in the food forest in my kitchen garden. Got the mulberry here just coming into bloom early spring. We've got a very early spring this year. Underplanted with beautiful nasturtiums. It's fantastic for pollination uh, with all the nectar from the beautiful flowers. And uh, the bees come in and pollinate these gorgeous little blooms which turn into fruit. So getting the timing right means lots more more fruits. If the tree is under planted with flowers for nectar you'll have all your pollinators in the garden and they can help come in and give you a better crop. And uh, it's the same with your citrus. So here's some uh, beautiful lime tree. We've still got a few of last year's limes on. In fact quite a few still on the tree but the new buds already coming. Look at that. We've got these new little leaves. They tend to be quite uh, prone to aphids. With that new growth. So getting your pruning right at the right times is really important so that you've got all the predatory insects like your parasitic wasps and some of the ladybirds etc in your garden. So if uh, you do get an attack uh, of aphids then at least you'll have all those beneficial insects in there to take care of business for you. And uh, just looking at the buds on the tree, once those uh, little uh, flowers are pollinated you're going to see tiny new fruit forming and then uh, it's really a matter of going around and looking, here they are, there's a couple of really tiny new ones. And then just looking at how many each uh, branch can support and picking off any that may be just too much for the tree. So uh, I go around and do that and then my tree can support the growth of the number of fruit that it can bear based on the size and maturity and uh, then you get lots of healthy fruit but not too small otherwise the tree has to compromise size for volume so you need to make some decisions. So there are a few little tips about uh, getting your flowers working for you, companion planting. Here's um, some beautiful arrowroot. I use that as a chop and drop crop, not only to eat the root, but also as a beautiful mulch. And to provide shade for the under here at turmeric and ginger. So some companion planting. Nasturtiums are companion plants as well. probably can't hear them but there are zillions of bees buzzing around in here just going from flower to flower and of course managing your fruit trees. So I hope these tips are helpful to get your food forest, your kitchen garden productive, pretty and of course producing lots of fruit for you to enjoy.